We used cofilzomib, uh, lenalidomide and dexamethasone for eight combination cycles followed by revlimid maintenance for a total of two years, so 24 cycles in patients who were diagnosed with newly diagnosed multiple myeloma. It was open for all ages, so patients had to be diagnosed with multiple myeloma and they had to be 18 years or older. There was no upper uh, cutoff for age. Traditionally, people talk about uh, transplant eligible and transplant ineligible, and they usually refer to people above or below the age of 65 to 70. In this study, because there was no transplant involved, it was open for all ages. We used this uh, triple combination therapy I just mentioned. We more specifically so gave cofilzomib at a dose of 20 milligrams per meter square the first two days, and thereafter we stepped it up to 36 milligrams per meter square for all the subsequent doses. Uh, and this was given uh, day one, two, eight, nine, 15, 16 on a four week schedule. We gave Revlimid uh, 25 milligrams every day for 21 days on a, the same four week schedule, and then we gave 40 milligrams of dexamethasone weekly. What we found was that after we have delivered this therapy to a total of 45 patients that have been enrolled in this phase two trial that we have designed at the NCI, that the overall uh, complete response rate was 76%. And we worked these patients up for minimal residual disease using flow cytometry of the bone marrow, using multicolor flow with a minimum of three million cells or more. All those patients were MOD negative. So that's a very striking finding, and none of these patients uh, have been tra transplanted without hollow stem cell transplant. After they have delivered these eight cycles, we have then kept them on this maintenance, and we are now following these patients, and we have follow-up of a maximum of about two years at this moment, and obviously we're going to keep on following. And the key questions, I believe, for the future will be to determine whether the MOD status persists while on maintenance therapy, and of course, after we have completed the maintenance therapy, that's scattered to go on for the coming two years after the completion of combination therapy, do they maintain MOD negativity?